Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Oh man, it's been so long since I've sat down and like really recorded a beauty related video. So this is this is really weird for me. Yeah, I didn't think I would ever be doing this video. I was totally against it, but I got sucked in. I'm going to be doing a full face of Glossier. I have all of the products here needed to do a full face. Yeah, I, I've, I've been, I don't want to say that I've been against the company because I have ordered a couple of things from Glossier and I've absolutely loved most of it. Um, but I was just not impressed with their whole natural you, natural face, your face but better type of campaign that they were running. So I kind of resisted, I kind of resisted. The reason why I pushed away from Glossier for so long was because I just, I didn't think that their ad campaigns were very inclusive. I feel like they're not inclusive because they don't feature models who have you know, hyperpigmentation or acne or acne scarring or textured skin or mature skin. It's just really, it's the same beautiful, young, clear faced women. And they're basically flaunting and saying, I'm so pretty, I don't need makeup. And I just, I don't know, I just thought it was exclusionary and I just didn't like it, it made me uncomfortable. But I did buy a few select items and after I used their products, I kind of started to change my mind about supporting the company. It wasn't that I didn't support them, I just didn't like the message they were sending. I didn't like their ad campaigns. But I am feeling a little bit differently about that now. So I decided to do a full face of Glossier, one, to see if I could, to see if I could be my best me using their products. And number two, I don't make New Year's resolutions, but I told myself last year that this whole makeup thing, it needed to kind of come from 10, maybe down to a four, a three. Basically, I want to spend less time doing makeup. And I love makeup and I love doing it, but it's just, it's too much. There are too many products, there are too many palettes, there are too, just, just too much. and. I'll be honest with you, following tutorials and following trends had me out there looking crazy. Like seriously, I am just not the type of person who can carry a beat face. I look better with the less is more type of makeup looks. So that's my goal for 2019. It's not necessarily a resolution, but it's a goal that I am going to start making myself look the way I want with fewer products. I think Glossier kind of fits into that philosophy, which is why I just decided, okay, okay, I'm gonna buy the stuff and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna see how it comes out. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into this face. All right, so I got my hair all pinned back. I think that's good enough, I'm ready to go. So here's the bag that it comes in right here. This is everything that I ordered. And like I said, I do have a couple of things that um, that I bought that I'm going to use, incorporate into this as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is the base, of course. But the packaging is so cute. I love, I love cute packaging like this, you guys. It's just, I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, so first off, the only thing that I wasn't able to get, they didn't have the priming moisturizer on the site. I wanted to do just a full face from base to finish. They didn't have their priming moisturizer. They were sold out of it, but which I wasn't necessarily broken up about because I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't really like primer, but they did send me a sample. They sent me a sample of this priming moisturizer. It's building hydrating cream. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pop this on the skin, on my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, there isn't much of a scent or fragrance, which I do like about Glossier. I, um, I use their jelly cleansers and some other skincare stuff and um, I like that it doesn't, they don't have heavy scents. I don't mind scents and they really don't bother my skin, but um, I would rather not have them if I didn't need them. 
And this is what I held out on the longest. This is the skin tint. So I'm just gonna shake this up. And this says, um, yeah, that you're just supposed to shake, then smooth over and moisturize skin with fingertips. And I find this appealing because I feel like putting on makeup with your fingertips just means that you're gonna get the process over and done with, and that's totally what I'm all about right now. So the color that I'm using is in deep. And these only have about five shades, but since it's a skin tint, I mean, they don't really, they don't need 40 shades like Fenty or something like that because it's supposed to really just, um, it's almost like moisturizer. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit the skin tint on one side. Okay, so that's, this is the side with, I feel like I just look greasy. What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like I just look greasy. I think I was already greasy to begin with. I think that the priming moisturizer probably wasn't the best for me. I don't have oily skin or anything. I have actually fairly normal skin, but, um, yeah, sometimes I can get just a little bit dewy, which I like because I just think that's natural, but this is a perfect, perfect color for me, by the way. So I can definitely see a difference. Um, I have some time of the month breakouts on my chin right now. They actually just popped up this morning, of course. <sighs> okay, so that looks good. Um, I'm not blown away, but I need to do my whole face. So this is the side without it, and this is the side with it. I'm just gonna put some more on. I didn't have to use a whole lot, so that's good. I was like bugging about how much they give you, but if you don't have to use a lot, then I guess it's okay. Okay, I absolutely don't think anything like this would be remotely buildable. So I wouldn't just go in and try to put more layers on to try to get more coverage. I mean, that's how my hands look. This is absolutely a serum. I think that the reason why I was so against this serum is because there's absolutely no SPF protection. And I feel like for this price range and for the amount you get, we could have a little bit of SPF, even 15 would be great. I, I, I don't know, I, I think that that looks pretty, pretty good. Let me see if I can just put a little bit more right here. Okay, yeah, and there, so it's no building this up at all. So it just basically evened out my skin tone and made me look, it made me look alive again. You know, it's winter out here and I'm losing my color by the day and I'm becoming more and more gray. And I feel like this brought some life back into my face. I, I do, do believe that. Um, is it, working miracles no it's not working any miracles or anything but um, it's doing what it's promised it's giving my skin a nice even dewy finish and it's not sticky or anything um yeah i think i, I think i kind of like it i mean you know it's it's whatever i'm not blown away <laughs> but i don't hate it and i was prepared to hate it and i don't hate it so let's move on to the next product now i'm going to be trying the concealer i have tried this concealer before actually and here it is in the box um i tried this concealer before and i really 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 do love it so when i bought this um this so the first color that i bought was deep and this one is dark so <laughs> the color is like this isn't deep and they're not dark it's kind of weird but this is what i bought before and this has always been too dark to do any kind of like concealing under my eyes or anything it's like my actual skin color so i use it to spot conceal but i can't use this under my eyes so that was always a bummer for me because i really do like the formula so I picked up this one, and this one, like I said, this is in the shade deep, and, or dark. I, and this is not dark by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just gonna swatch these really fast for you guys. So that's 
dark, isn't that crazy? And this is deep. And you see the deep just really blends right in with my skin tone. So I went ahead and bought the dark for my under eyes. And so that's what I'm gonna use. Yeah, this is pretty light. But you know what? It is already evening out the darkness under my eyes. Something that is supposed to be able to move with you or move with your skin. So that's why they call it stretch because it stretches and it moves with your skin and it's not supposed to settle in fine lines. And I have the few times that I've used this on my eyes, I can definitely say that that's true. I hardly get any kind of creasing or anything like that. Um, it's very hydrating and it's they say that it's buildable. I really don't think that this is all that buildable. I don't know about that. I don't know about it being buildable. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this all around my eyes. I think that buying this lighter shade was a good call. Hmm. That is not bad. It didn't cover up my dark circles completely and I don't need for them to be covered up completely all the time but um yeah i really like this concealer i just i i don't know why it took me so long to buy like a highlighting shade because i mean i i already knew that the formula worked i just i was just being stubborn i was just being stubborn i don't know why okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna spot conceal some of the other um issues on my face with the um with a deep deep 40. So as you can see, that is my exact shade and it covers everything up. And I'm not saying that you should go out and buy separate shades, but I'm, I don't think that you would regret it if you did. What next? Wilder. So this is something else that I wasn't looking forward to buying because, and this has nothing to do with Glossier. I just don't feel like setting powders do anything at all for me. As a matter of fact, they make me look really, really, really bad. So I stay away from loose setting powders for the most part. I do use um, pressed powders a lot, which also if I use a heavy hand, I don't know, it just kind of sits on my face and it settles in texture and lines that you really, I really don't even have. It just makes everything worse. So I really try to stay away from powders, but I'm doing the whole face and I did notice that the skin tint was quite radiant so I do need to set it and you open it up and it has this uh, oh yeah okay. I freaking cannot stand loose powder so this has a mesh in it to kind of control the powder which I do like I do like it um, yeah, I'm gonna grab a brush. I didn't get any of their brushes because screw that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you just dip it in and the mesh kind of pushes it back up. Okay. Let's do the powder. Just gonna... I don't want this messing up on me. I'm gonna use my big face brush here. I'm just going to powder on this. Wow, so this didn't make me look horrible. I don't want to like this, but this isn't bad. Look at me, I'm sitting here shading a company and I've already given them my money. Like this is the strangest, strangest relationship with a cosmetics company I've ever had, I think. <laughs> I mean, sitting here shading, shading the company. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna like this. You should wanna like it. You've already spent your freaking money, you idiot. This looks good. 
this looks really really good um, I typically look so bad after I use powder like I can never use powder um, just just all over like that it's just I don't know um, and it said it nicely um, yeah I don't look like dried or cakey or anything it did take away a lot of the dewiness which I mean it comes back throughout the day anyway unless you have like really really dry skin but for me I'll, I'll probably get that back so it doesn't really bother me that much I might have to eat some girl I, I really might have to because this looks really 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 good let's do brows because I'm starting to look a little bit crazy because my brows aren't done I have been using Glossier Boy Brow for about a year and a half now. It is my favorite brow gel. So there's no surprises that's gonna come from me using this. I love it, I recommend it. Um, I do think that it's the best brow gel I've ever used. And I'm just going to go ahead. And I always start in the middle because, um, especially with a new wand, because you can put a lot on it and you don't want to start with too much in the front because you'll look crazy unless you like that look of course and now i am going to put some color on my eyelids and we're going to go in with lid star and i only got one box of this i only got one of these because I hadn't really heard the greatest reviews about this. So I think that my lids are pretty set. Yeah, the water really set them. So I don't have those um, telltale signs, of, you know, the lines settling in. Okay, not a whole lot came off, so I'm gonna have to go in again. It's a pretty color. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna dab that on my lid and um, blend it out with my finger. There is close to no color payoff for that. Um, you can tell I have something on my lid and it blended out like a dream. I mean, don't get me wrong, but and I really can't see this lasting throughout the day. I just see it fading more and more because there's not, there's not much there. There's not much color deposit there. I'm gonna put on one more swipe. Yeah, you guys, I, I'm not, I'm not wild about this. I kind of get the complaints now about it. Maybe I should have gone with a different color that wasn't so close to my skin tone. Um. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't the best. And there's, it's not buildable. So there's no need for me to go in with um, a second swipe of the wand. It's just, it's not gonna get any more color. This is the best it's gonna get. So I didn't buy any mascara because at the time I, I ordered this, I was full, just fully committed to lash extensions. So yeah, there is not going to be any kind of review on the mascara. So now I'm going to be moving on to my face. So what I've noticed is that I look, I look a lot better. I do. I look great. I would leave the house like this right now. My skin looks clear. Uh, my eyes look nice and bright. My brows look bushy. I just, I look healthy. I look really, really healthy. But now my face is looking a little bit flat. They don't have a bronzer or anything. So um, the only way to bring some more color back to my face is through blush. And I am going to be using their cloud paint. I have bought their cloud paint before and I bought it in the color, what is this, Dawn? And this is such a beautiful, beautiful color. I wore this so much in the summer. I wore this so much. 
not really something that I'm feeling right now. So I did get a new color because it is winter and I just, I don't know, I kind of like more warmer, kind of toastier colors in the winter. I'm, I got Dusk, so this is Dusk and this is Dawn. <laughs> I didn't realize that when I ordered it. I love cream blushes, but they're not all made the same. But I do feel like out of the ones that I've tried, I think Glossier is the best. So here's um, Dusk. And so it's a kind of a peachy color. Um, and I'm just gonna pop this on my face. And I hope that I get some color payoff from this. Maybe I should have gotten like a, a rosy color, but I just I really wanted to try this. Okay, that looks good. That brought some color back into my face, yes. So about this particular color, it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. I do like it and I'm definitely going to put it into my rotation. I think that if you're my color, you're not gonna get as much color payoff from it as you probably hope. So I don't know if you would need to buy this. Um, I definitely recommend the Cloud Paints, period. But yeah, just I think this will look just so awesome on someone either darker than me, deeper, deeper shade or lighter, definitely. Because the color payoff is, is, is it's there, but it's very subtle and it might be a little too subtle for people. Moving on, I'm going to add some highlight and I'm gonna be using Halo Scope in the color Topaz. So this one is supposedly skincare or something like that. It has the highlighter around, you know, the outer part, and in the middle part is like some vitamin E or something. It's skincare. Here's how it looks on my hand. You can kind of see it, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, and I warmed that up really good on my hand. You can either take that and then just go like this and just pop it on your cheekbones like so, or you can kind of do the dab thing. What I'm liking about these products and using them all together is that they seem to be playing so nicely with each other. Like, it's not moving when I go in. There's so many cream products and you think that these would, um, like you would have the skin tint kind of lifting up and interfering with the rest of the products, but I'm not, I'm not having that issue really. I mean, it's, it's, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I'm not a huge highlight fan. Um, it would just take something miraculous to get me to like love it, but it looks good. It looks, it brings back a lot of life back to my face that I think was lost after I, I powdered. You know, you're not contouring and highlighting. Something like this is definitely needed for a look like this. All right, the last thing that I am going to be using is a lip product, but I did on my last order um, buy their Generation G lip, lip tint, and this is in the color Ziff, and I did not like this. I did not like this at all. I just thought, I just didn't see a point in it. I feel like I could have gotten the same effect using regular lipstick, but just less of it. But this is a Glossier face, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply it. So, here's the thing. The first time I bought this, um, I was not pleased with this at all. I just, like I said, I'm, it's still not great, but I'm gonna just be honest, it looks much better with a Glossier face. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. When I first put this on, I was so disappointed. And I was like, oh my God, just why did I buy this? Um, but now I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this looks really, really good. 
It looks good with this face. It did not look good with whatever look I was trying to achieve when I was wearing this. And I honestly, I never picked it up again because I just didn't like it that much. Rethinking my opinion on these lip tints right now. It just looks looks really good. It looks really radiant. My lips look and feel really hydrated and they're really not. They are suffering right now. So um, maybe that's the key is using this with a Glossier face. Okay, you guys. So this is the finished look. I have my hair all fluffed up and fluffed out and everything. I think that I've been converted. I think that I'm a Glossier girl now. I think that um, I'm really loving these products. To get this full look, it is $158. If I was not talking into the camera the whole time, I think this probably, I could have had this done in 10 minutes. So time versus money, I feel like if you, if you work, or you're a mom or a student and you just need to get out of the house fast every morning and you need products that are gonna work and work predictably well. You don't want to wake up one morning and your foundation is oxidized or it's, you know, it's just not working right for your skin that day. Um, yeah, this is the kind of setup that you need, I think. And it doesn't have to necessarily be these products, but I'm, I will say this. I do think that these products are all working in tandem together. They all have like a synergy where everything is just working the way that it should. I'm scared that the Wilder is only gonna work this well with Glossier products. I am, but I feel like if I had to get up at 6 a.m. and I didn't wanna look like a total hag, Doing a routine like this and knowing that it's going to result in my face looking like this would be well worth the $150 to spend to, to get to this. I think that the only thing I would not recommend is the the lid star. I just just I no mm -mm. get something else. Use whatever shadows you already have, and if you like cream shadows, I would suggest you know definitely the the G O A T. The Goat is Stella, or you can use ColourPop. But I would not. I would take Lid Star off of that. I, I would if you if you're just low maintenance, or if you just this is like your everyday look. I would definitely recommend Glossier. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I used, leave them in the comments below. See, I've forgotten how to do all this. I've forgotten the spiel that you're supposed to say. Um, Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, you guys. Peace out.